Hey everyone, so um, as you know, the Ninjago Hands of Time is currently a separate adventure. That's all we know about it, really. And, um, you know, we've heard Day of the Departed, but now it, it also sounds like, you know, Day of the Departed might be like the name of the first episode. So what doesn't make any sense is, you know, is Day of the Departed kind of the main part of it, though, like the whole season? And is the Hands of Time like the next season or the, just the next adventure? And what would the next adventure actually be brought with? You know, like, I don't exactly know. But um, right now, in this video, I'm at least going to go with the Hands of Time as, like, a separate thing from the Day of the Departed. Um, you know, because this is in the next adventure. So I'm just going to go off of it being, you know, its own separate thing. I don't exactly know yet, but I'm going to say that it is right now. So my question here is, what villains would be in this Hands of Time storyline as uh, this adventure? Now, of course... If this is another adventure, there could be um, totally new villains, too. I mean, th that's probably more likely than, like, returning ones, especially because Day of the Departed makes more sense for the returning ones. But, you know, if you know, maybe the Hands of Time is not exactly its own separate thing, maybe it's somehow connected with Day of the Departed, could there be villains, you know, as I made a video before, there were some villains that are really well known as well that aren't coming back. Could some of those villains somehow make their way into this next season? Or could some of the villains that are in Day of the Departed thing make their way into the hands of time as well? Now, um, you know, Lord Garmadon is probably one of the most, you know, I have him there, um, most well-known. I mean, he's the one who started Ninjago out. I mean, I know he Garmadon had ended up, ended up becoming good. But, you know, if, they, if they're bringing back villains... You know, they can bring back Garmadon, like, you know, in some sort of past thing, you know. I mean, it says Hands of Time. So, if they are dealing with time, could we see these past villains again that have fallen? You know, I mean, Lord Garmadon, you know, the villain, Garmadon as a villain, you know, it all ended um, at the final battle. You know, when, you know, Lloyd saved his father. So... That's when Lord Garbodon, like, the, you know, Lord Garbodon, all evil and stuff, that's when his villain time ended. So, you know, and the Overlord, um, you know, his villain time, as we know of, um, ended at Rebooted. So, you know, these villains, um, you know, they all ended. But, you know, if it's dealing with time, you know, could they go back and, you know, like, have to deal with things in time? Now, um, the Hagman Brothers have stated, though, that it will be focusing on... There will also be a focus on Nia and Kai's parents and, and Nia and Kai themselves. So the thing is, though, could any of these villains even be connected or have some sort of role in this time thing um, along with, you know, the storyline of Kai and Nia's parents? Or, you know, could they be dealing with villains somewhere in time that they have not faced yet? No, it's so many questions that we don't know about yet. Uh, but what do you guys think? Do you guys think more returning villains could be in this Hands of Time thing? Or do you guys think um, new villains will be within the Hands of Time adventure? It is destiny.